Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unlimited, Embraer signs a $1.4 billion jet deal with FlexJet. Bombardier announces 5,900 nautical mile range for the Global 5500 aircraft. And Textron gets ready for the first flights of Denali and Sky Courier. Welcome to Aero News Network's coverage of NBAA Base. I'm your host, Sophie Herlock. And Barrera is celebrating a massive purchase agreement with FlexJet. The deal consists of a fleet of Embraer business jets, including the recently certified Praetor and Phenom 300, and is valued at $1.4 billion, with delivery starting this year. This purchase agreement makes FlexJet Embraer's Praetor fleet launch customer. And so that announcement starts off with recognizing that a history of over 16 years has built upon uh, flight options in 2003 taking the opportunity for announcing the first fractional of our legacy jet platform. And then 2010, announcing the Phenom 300E introduction to the fractional provider. Very exciting to see the continuation of that with our legacy 500 in 2015 and the mainstay of the FlexJet offering with the 450 in 2016. This 16 year journey has been built on a relationship, and that relationship is about innovation. It's about doing what is unmatched and unprecedented in the marketplace. It's about delivering for customers uh, and, and delivering in such a way that uh, you distinguish yourself from all brands of competitors out there. And so it's a proud opportunity for me to invite my good friend and CEO of FlexJet to join me on stage uh, so that we can celebrate together the opportunity for this order. FlexJet has committed. Michael, hi, Ben. <laughs> nice to see you, my friend. Nice to see you too. FlexJet has committed to be the fleet launch customer of the Prater, committing to $1.4 billion. And, Michael, this is an opportunity for us to commemorate today. That's awesome. We'll be right back with Around the Patch. The True Blue Power TA202 Series High Power USB Charging Port requires no bulky external power converters for 10 to 32 VDC installation. The in-seat cabin and cockpit power source delivers all the power you need in a small, economical, easy to install package. Available from your local avionics dealer. There's a difference between charting a steady course and pushing for the ceiling. And for nearly a century, Hartzell Propeller has been defining that difference. It's in our passion for engineering and research and our dedication to testing the limits of performance. We are built on honor. We are Hartzell Propeller. Welcome back, it's time for today's trip around the patch. The FAA approved an STC for the installation of GoGo Advance L5 in in-service Phenom 300 business jets. The Phenom 300 is the first aircraft from Embraer to receive an FAA approval for an in-service fleet STC for the aftermarket and is the fifth Embraer aircraft with an L5 solution. Sandell Avionics Board of Directors appointed Steve Jackson as President and CEO, replacing founder Jerry Bullock, who announced his retirement back in September. As CEO, Jackson will assume day-to-day -day leadership of the company, ensuring Sandell's new integrated avionics platform achieved certification. Uber and Saffron Cabin are exhibiting an eVTOL mock-up at NBAA based on a future vision for on-demand urban air mobility vehicles. By going vertical, future EV toll vehicles will allow passengers to quickly travel in crowded urban environments, turning a typical 90-minute car ride into an 8-15-minute to 15 minute flight. 
The first non-stop commercial airline flight from New York to Sydney landed Sunday after 19 hours and 16 minutes in the air. A total of 49 passengers and crew were on the flight, which was used to run a series of experiments to assess the health and well-being on board. Data from these experiments will be used to help shape the crew rostering and customer service of Qantas's ultra-long haul flights in the future. We'll be right back with the rest of the news. There's never been a better time to become a pilot. At the Sling Pilot Academy, you can get your private, commercial, and instrument ratings in nine months for less than $63,000 and do it in modern, fun airplanes. Your flight training is going to be as exciting as your future career as an airline pilot. SlingPilotAcademy.com Today is a new dawn. With a new name. Un nuevo logotipo. A new factor. Und einen globalen Kundenfokus. We are Continental Aerospace Technologies and we stand behind you. Bombardier announced a range increase for its latest Global 5500 business jet. With the aircraft now boasting a range of 5,900 nautical miles at Mach 0.85. With 700 nautical miles more than the competition, the Global 5500 aircraft can reportedly fly non-stop from Western Europe to the West Coast of the United States. The additional capability provides more range or the flexibility to complete the same missions with additional payload and more fuel reserves. The 5900 nautical mile range will be a baseline feature on the Global 5500 aircraft for all existing and future customers at no additional cost. The Pearl 15 engine was custom designed with enhanced aerodynamics, blade cooling, and advanced engine health monitoring systems. The single-engine turboprop wars are beginning to heat up, and Textron had more than a few things to say about the progress of their new Denali program now coming together in Kansas. With first flight delayed until after the first of the year, the program is nonetheless proceeding at high speed. And on the heels of that, Textron's new twin-engine Sky Courier is getting ready for its flight test program in 2020. We're very excited about the Denali program. The production of the first flying article is going well in Wichita. We're actually nearing first wing made of that airplane. And so we're looking forward to getting that airplane in the air. Right now, GE has slid the delivery of that engine into 2020. And once we have that engine, we'll be able to provide some updates on first flight. But we want to get it in the air as soon as possible because, like you said, there are customers all over the world excited about this airplane. How do you see that niche shaping up at this point now that you're an official entrant? Yeah, so I think that it has been a market segment that's been strong for a while, and I think that we bring some unique uh, offerings to that class. With the G3000 avionics and the FADEC engine provided by the GE Catalyst engine, I think it provides a better experience for the pilots up front. But also, given our experience of building jets, I think our interiors team has done a great job of building a luxurious yet flexible cabin in the back. And so I think from a product perspective, we have something unique to offer. But then really, I think where we stand apart is our service network. So with a global service network of 18 service centers and three global distribution centers and our long history of supporting uh, airplanes all over the world, I think we do provide something unique to that space. And we're confident that we can you know, win our fair share in that space and hopefully grow the market as well, too. Now, if that wasn't enough, there's this other little thing called Sky Courier. Tell me what's happening with that program at this point, and boy, didn't you have enough on your plate? <laughs> well, we make a habit of coming out with new product upgrades all the time. We've had a number of things come up in the last decade across our entire product line, but we're really excited about the Sky Courier. It's being designed to be a rugged, reliable utility airplane. So there's not a lot of new technology into this airplane, but that's on purpose because we want it to be simple to operate, simple to maintain, and, and really rugged, and that's what our launch customer FedEx has requested. So as an update on that program, similar to the Denali, for the Sky Courier, we're preparing for first wingmate of the first flying prototype out there. And we do anticipate first flight of this airplane early next year as we just go through the process. So we're excited about this airplane. I think there's going to be a number of milestones soon, and uh, we're looking forward to getting it in the air. And that was our last story of the day. We appreciate you tuning in. Don't forget to click the subscribe button and check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more aviation aerospace news, head over to air-news.net. I'll see you tomorrow.